Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today in the Bible Bistro, we're looking at Psalm 101, verses 4 and 5. So come on in here and sit down with me. Open your Bible up. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink, whatever you need there. And uh, let's uh, study the Psalms today. Just these two verses. Now we're in this 101st Psalm, which I call a devotional confession. It kind of gives us a little outline about you know, how to structure our daily walk with the Lord. And, and that's the question I think that David's answering. How do I order my life to walk with the Lord? How do I walk in His way? What are some things that I need to do? I need to exercise judgment in my life for myself. So my focus, we talked about that yesterday, verses 2 and 3. Today, what do I need to exclude from my life? So we're going to look at verses 4 and 5. As I said, this is his answering the question, how do I order my life? The the capstone or the, the topic sentence there is verse 1, kind of informs really everything else that happens in the psalm. I will sing of mercy and judgment. So now we're going to talk a little bit about that judgment today, as well as mercy. So verses 4 and 5, let me read that for us. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. So that's verses 4 and 5 here. Again, we're looking at his judgment. Uh, first, really in verse 4, about himself. A froward heart shall depart from me. But to accomplish that, I will not know a wicked person. So he wants to exclude the froward heart that which would walk away you know, into the fields of pleasure and sin and rebellion. So the froward heart, he, he wants that to be gone. And what does he want? He wants to walk in a perfect way. So to do that, and he wants a perfect heart. So to do that, he has to get rid of the froward heart. So he's talked about that perfect heart in verse 2. Here he's talking about the froward heart. He's got to get rid of that thing. So to do that, he says, I will not know a wicked person. Here's his exclusion. Now he's going to describe the wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart, will not I suffer. So he's excluding the wicked person, and now he describes them. Those who privately slander their neighbor. Who is that? Well, I mean, it's pretty pretty descriptive, isn't it? We know those kind of people, the gossips, you know, the backbiters, the people that talk about someone behind their back. And in their presence, they're all lovey-dovey and sweet. Well, that, that kind of person... Do you have that kind of person in your life? You need to cut them off. You, you have to exclude them because that kind of person will lead you to have a froward heart. David's trying to protect his heart here. So who is it around you that you need to exclude? Someone with a, a gossipy mouth and a gossipy heart? Someone who's a hypocrite? Who's always talking about other people? Yeah. And now look, I've been a pastor a long time. I've seen a lot of folks come and go, and I've seen people who call themselves Christian, but yet privately slander their neighbor and rejoice in doing so. That kind of person you need to exclude. Get rid of them. Put them away. Put them out of your life or remove yourself from their presence, however you need to do it. Remove yourself from from their presence. He that has a high look and a proud heart. So the proud now are someone that he needs to exclude. Why? He's trying to keep himself from a froward heart. So the proud, the one who has the high look, remember what uh, the Lord said in the Proverbs, you know, there are six things, yea, seven, that the Lord hates. And the first one is a haughty look. So that needs to be cut off because, well, the Lord hates it. And number two, it leads you to something that's evil. You can begin to have a proud heart and a high look if you're not careful. And if you want that perfect heart, well, 
you need to uh, you need to cut that person off as well. So his exclusions here are just as important as his focus on himself. He wants to walk within his house and set no wicked thing before his eyes and the you know work of them that turn aside. He doesn't want that to cleave to himself. He doesn't want a froward heart. So what does he have to do? Well, he has to exclude himself now from certain individuals that are about him. Now, tomorrow, we're going to see his inclusion. There are going to be some people that he wants to be around him so that he can, you know, maintain his devotional confession. So we'll see that tomorrow beginning in 6. We'll read 6 and 7 tomorrow. So join me here on Daily Dose Radio tomorrow for Psalm 101, verses 6 and 7. I'll see you then. Bye. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.